Hello, this is Sarah Davey from IC Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to use placeholders and selectors. Placeholders are items that can be added to the model diagram to represent a collection of other variables in your model. They will end up being used in input devices and output devices, such as graphs, tables, sliders, and knobs on the interface. And it will, they allow you to switch between selections for display at any given time. The selectors will be placed on the interface, and that's the item that actually provides the drop-down menu for switching between items for display. So I'll go ahead and get started with showing you how to make a placeholder. In this very simple model, I have three variables and they're all arrayed by location and product. So what I wanna do is I'd like to be able to have some graphs and tables that include revenues from all different slices and all different parts of that array. So first what I'm gonna do is add a placeholder. The placeholder tool is located underneath the module in the dropdown. I can put this anywhere on my model diagram. I'm going to name it revenue so that as I start adding other placeholders to my model, I can easily identify what this one is for. So to add items to this placeholder, I just need to double click to open the panel and I'll use the add button below the inputs list and I'll select revenue. And because this is an array variable, I get the array picker. And I want to have all locations and all products in this placeholder, so I'm gonna use asterisks for both. And they're both selected, so I click OK. And when I do that, the dialog actually expands the array so I can see all the slices right here. Now, if I were to run the model, let's do that. I can actually right click on the placeholder and from the drop down menu, I'll select view results. And here I can look at a graph or a table for any variable in my model using this dialog. But the nice thing about the placeholder is I have one simple menu, a drop down menu with all slices that I can toggle between so I can get a look at each item in the array. And it's in a very simple way. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how I can use the placeholder in a selector on the interface. So stay tuned for part two.